Resolution 2, Testing Power Delivery to the Drive Motor, SVC 0410002, Reference, Drive Motor and Reducer Service Guide for Gas Rotisseries, SVC-026-0005. This procedure applies to all gas rotisserie models. It will be needed if the rotisserie's dry rotation is slow or not moving, and if the drive motor fuse blows often, or if the main circuit breaker at the back of the unit trips frequently. Use the table of content embedded in the description of this video to skip ahead to the desired topic. You will need one Phillips screwdriver number two, a clamp meter. If needed, the electrical schematics are provided inside the right-hand access panel of the oven. A. Power off the unit by pushing the main on-off switch and unplug the unit's power cord. B. Remove the right-hand side access panel to uncover the drive motor. C. Ensure that the main circuit breaker at the back of the unit is not tripped. If it is in the down position, move forward to resolution 3, drive motor inspection, SVC-041-0003, and resolution 4, reducer inspection, SVC-041-0004. D. Remove and test the continuity of the drive motor fuse to ensure it's not blown. E. If applicable, open the black sleeve protecting the main wire bundle and make the drive motor's wiring accessible. Disconnect the drive motor assembly from the main wiring bundle. F. Plug in the unit's power cord and turn the oven on by pulling the main on-off red switch. G. Verify the voltage by connecting the clamp meter as shown and by holding down the green advance button. The clamp meter should read approximately 120 volts AC. 1. If 120 volts AC is confirmed, move forward to resolution 3, drive motor inspection, SVC-041-0003, and resolution 4, reducer inspection, SVC-041-0004. 2. If there is no voltage, verify power issues such as 2A, the drive motor relay, either the old electromechanical style, which is discontinued, or the solid state style, which is the current model. 2B, the mechanical or magnetic door switch, which is either defective or in need of adjustment. 2C, the main controller, if the controller is faulty, call heart. 2D, any other power related failure. H, proceed to the next applicable resolution outlined in the table of content SVC 041-0005 to correct any other symptom if applicable. I, reinstall the right hand side access panel and restore power to the rotisserie once all symptoms have been corrected. This concludes Video Service Guide Resolution 2, Testing Power Delivery to the Drive Motor, SVC-041-0002. If you would like a printed version of these instructions, contact HART and request Drive Motor and Reducer Service Guide for Gas Rotisseries, SVC-026-0005. You can also consult it online from Hart's secure web page for service companies. For any assistance, call Hart at 1-800-387-6847.